Human history has been turbulent, yet a fascination in what lies beyond the boundaries of our planet has united us all since the dawn of time. Nestled in the valley of a remote part of southwest China is a gigantic structure that has the potential to unlock our universe for the first time. The dish of the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope, FAST, which is located in the Karst Mountains of the province of Gizhou in China, spans an area that is large enough to hold 30 soccer matches at the same time. The world's largest single-dish radio telescope is nestled in a natural rock basin. The 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope, more commonly known as FAST, has a diameter of 500 meters, which, as its name suggests, is a size that enables researchers to identify more distant and fainter objects. The construction of the 1.2 billion yuan, 171 million US dollars, telescope, also known as Tianyan or the Eye of Heaven, took a total of five years and was finally finished in the year 2016, 20 years after it was first conceived of. In January of 2020, FAST began operating in a formal capacity. The Chinese National Astronomical Observatory, which is a component of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, is in charge of its operation. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, which was formerly known as the world's largest radio telescope, has been surpassed in size by FAST. Both of these telescopes are big parabolic dishes, and because of this, they can only make use of a small fraction of their total area at a time. However, FAST is not just more extensive, it also functions differently and provides greater flexibility. In contrast to Arecibo, the surface of FAST is capable of undergoing shape changes. While Arecibo's entire surface can be used to see something directly overhead, but this is uncommon. Objects are rarely at zenith and are normally observed with an angled view and a surface area of only about 221 meters in diameter. The 300-meter diameter aperture of FAST is a significant advantage. The FAST system is somewhat similar to a segmented mirror telescope. Its exterior is constructed out of about 4,500 separate panels altogether. More than 2,200 winches are located on the underside of the surface, which can be used to shape the surface into a parabola that is directed toward various sections of the sky. As a result of its substantially deeper dish than Arecibo's, FAST has a much broader field of view than its predecessor. However, being three times larger than Arecibo means that it's also three times more sensitive. As a result, it is surrounded by a three-mile, five-kilometer, radio silence zone in which cell phones and computers are not permitted. Radio telescopes such as FAST make use of antennas and radio receivers to detect radio waves emitted by radio objects in the cosmos such as stars, galaxies, and black holes. These instruments can also be used to transmit radio messages into space and even reflect radio light from objects in the solar system such as planets in order to detect any information that may have been reflected back. Researchers may use FAST not only to explore the universe, but also to investigate alien worlds, assessing whether or not they rest in the Goldilocks zone around their host star and also searching for life on other planets in the universe. The FAST radio telescope represents a significant advance for radio astronomy in terms of the amount of sky coverage it provides. The volume of space that radio telescopes are able to properly investigate has expanded four times as a result of this advancement. Lai Kijia, a scientist at the Kavli Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics at Peking University, says that this is a step forward and that it means that scientists can uncover more unknown stars, cosmic phenomena, and laws of the universe, or even detect extraterrestrial life. This is a significant achievement. China always makes extravagant claims about its various accomplishments, but FAST may be truly revolutionary in this case. In addition to this, the world's largest single-dish radio observatory is getting ready to open its doors to astronomers from all over the world. This will usher in a new era of extraordinarily sensitive observations, which may aid in the search for gravitational waves and investigate the mysterious fleeting blast of radiation known as fast radio bursts FRBs. Since it began operations on January 11, 2020, the FAST facility in China has produced more than 500 new pulsar discoveries, making it the most effective facility in the world for the discovery of pulsars. This is more than the total number of pulsars discovered by researchers in the United States and Europe during the same time period. 
Due to the sensitivity of FAST, the timing of pulsers may be measured approximately 50 times more accurately than it was previously possible. Repeated observations may provide scientists with the opportunity to learn about the surroundings from which FFRB originated and to ascertain whether or not the explosions are consistent in their energy levels or follow any particular pattern. For the first time, scientists will be able to observe extremely low-frequency gravity waves in the Nahertz range. FAST will also boost the efforts of an international collaboration that is trying to spot ripples in space-time as they sweep through the galaxy. The International Pulsar Timing Array is using radio telescopes around the world to monitor the regular emissions from pulsars, looking for distortions that would reveal the passing of these low-frequency gravitational waves. It is anticipated that by the 2030s, FAST will have amassed sufficient sensitive measurements to investigate specific sources of such waves, such as the collisions of supermassive black holes. FAST will also be important in the study of neutral hydrogen gas, a fundamental building block of the universe. It is anticipated that one of the FAST instruments will be helpful in that investigation. The receiver, designed and developed by Australian engineers, allows FAST to observe 19 different spots in the sky at the same time. Chinese and Australian radio astronomers frequently collaborate on projects like this, in part because they already have a relationship through another telescope effort called the Square Kilometer Array, which the United States opted out of in 2011. The Array, one of astronomy's most ambitious projects, will consist of a network of thousands of dishes and up to a million antennas spread across South Africa and Australia, forming a giant telescope. In light of the usefulness of FAST, the Chinese government is considering expanding capacity to include a total of six telescopes of this type in the same region. Although the government is still reviewing the plans, the proposal for six massive telescopes has received the most support from the astronomical community. The proposed total dish area might reach approximately 1.2 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 0.46 square miles, surpassing that of the world's largest radio telescope project now under development, the Square Kilometer Array SK, which is being built in Australia and South Africa. It is debatable whether China can afford such an expansion. The SK, on the other hand, had a budget of 2.3 billion US dollars, which was shared among its 14 member countries. China is in a league of its own when it comes to the creation of comprehensive manufacturing capabilities and infrastructure. The construction of such massive telescopes may present a difficulty for other nations, but this is where China excels. On the other hand, there are many who believe that constructing a massive telescope array in Guizhou, which is one of the poorest provinces in the country, would take a significant amount of money out of the government's research and development budget and decrease investments in other areas. Moreover, some reports also indicate that China is having problems filling positions within its own radio astronomy community to staff the telescope. They have been making efforts to attract people from all around the world, but one of the challenges they have is that the telescope is located in a remote area. However, in spite of everything, the FAST is a bright example of China's innovative engineering capabilities, and scientists believe that it will make some significant discoveries particularly in its first few years of operation. As we conclude this video, we'd like to leave you with some crucial questions to consider. What impact do you believe FAST and upcoming projects will have in the future? Do you think FAST will make extraordinary discoveries? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting updates.